Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural slasher film, Reeker. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a family having a road trip in the center of the desert. While playing the game Spy, the family hits a deer in the middle of the road. The family screams at the top of their lungs when the animal hits their car, causing their windscreen to be stained with so much blood. Because of altered vision due to blood stains, the mother has a difficult time driving the car. Luckily, she's able to activate the wipers as soon as they are about to crash. To settle down, the family decides to stop and check the situation of their rental car. While resting, they realize that their pet dog is missing. Hearing a sound in the desert, the father goes to the area to check where it's coming from. The mother becomes worried when her husband and their pet dog have become missing for quite some time. The mother screams their name to find them, hoping to reach them through her voice. However, as she finishes screaming, she sees their dog limping and terribly injured. The mother approaches their dog to take a closer look. In the car, the kid sees his father walking away from something, looking scared. To get his mother's attention, he punches the window and screams loudly. The mother looks back and sees that half of her husband's face is gone. All bloody, the father falls down to the floor. Scared for their lives, the mother and her kid scream aggressively. After the gory situation in the desert, the scene quickly transitions to a city. A college student named Trip meets his dealer to get his supply of as a reaction to Tripp's question, the dealer punches him in the face. The dealer goes away for a little while. While alone, Tripp decides to steal all the drugs that the dealer owns. He takes the container and quickly puts all the pills into his bag. Coming back, the dealer wishes Tripp safe driving. That same day, Tripp meets with his friends to go on a road trip. The group's destination is Area 52. On the way to their destination, Tripp finds out that one of their colleagues is blind, called Mr. Blind for short. To have a break, the group goes into the nearby diner to rest. Upon reaching the diner, Mr. Blind asks Trip if he can lead him to the men's room. However, jokingly, Trip leads Mr. Blind into the women's room, allowing him to enjoy a blind date. After a while, Trip receives a phone call from his drug dealer. The dealer says that his webcam recorded the scene when he stole the drugs from him. He dares Trip to send back the drugs he stole. Moreover, the dealer threatens Trip that he will be dead if he does not return the drugs within two hours. Scared, Trip ends the conversation and tries to ignore what happened during the phone call. While on the way to their destination, Trip boasts about his stolen drugs to his friends. The woman named Gretchen stops the car when she hears about the drugs. Gretchen dares Trip to dump all of the drugs to prevent them from possible danger. She says that he will be taken out of the car if he does not dump the drugs. While not moving, their blonde friend goes to the side of the road to take a stinky leak while Trip tries to call someone to pick him up. After a while, a strange, very short earthquake happens. Moreover, because of the lack of signal, Trip is unable to contact anyone. Gretchen agrees to take Trip back into the car, just to drop him off at the diner. While driving, the group notices a car crashed on the side of the road. They try to call the police, but all of their phones do not have a signal. After a while, Gretchen drops Trip at the gasoline station. However, when Gretchen tries to move on, the car's engine is not able to start. Knowing about the situation, Trip tries to fix the car. Having been preoccupied, the group realizes that Mr. Blind is missing and nowhere to be found. Just in time, Mr. Blind goes out of the diner, saying that he does not hear anything in the diner. The group goes back to the diner to check the situation. They see that the diner is completely empty and all thrashed. Looking for help, they try to use all the phones in the diner and in the gasoline station, but they do not find any luck. The group also realizes that the motel is completely empty Seeking a signal, Trip makes an antenna and puts it in the air. Luckily, a little signal reaches their radio. The radio says that a disaster has struck the country. This reveals the situation they are facing. To stay for the night, the group decides to take over the empty motel. While in the bedroom, the blonde girl notices a book stained with blood. On the other side, Mr. Blind and his friend Nelson go to the storage room to look for fuel. Instead of gas, they see dead and bloody animals all over the room. Mr. Blind wanders around the motel. Going to the other room, the mother from the crash flashes in the scene, with all of her mouth completely removed from her face. However, Mr. Blind does not notice her because he's blind. While Gretchen and the blonde girl discuss the bloody book, Tripp informs the group that he will leave and try to look for gas. While camping, the blonde girl sees a shadow in the diner. To search, she and Nelson go to the diner to check it. Although not able to see the person, the kid from the crash shows up behind them. While out, 
Trip meets his drug dealer in the middle of the road, carrying a weapon. Scared for his life, Trip shoots a signal fire to reach his friends. To get away from the dealer, Trip runs away as fast as he can. Trip finds himself hiding in the men's room. Trying not to make a noise, he hears the footsteps of the dealer approaching near him. Luckily, the dealer does not find him and leaves the room. Trip runs away and is being chased down by an old man driving a car. The old man says that he's looking for his missing wife. The old man offers to give Trip a ride. Hesitant at first, Trip agrees and joins the old man on his road trip. After a while, the truck reaches the gasoline station and Trip meets with his friends again. Trip does not mention that he met the dealer on the road, but he tells the group that they should be more careful. Trip hears a scream and a loud sound coming from the garbage area. He quickly checks it and finds a person with a bloody face. After getting him out of the garbage container, Trip realizes that half of the stranger's body is gone. The stranger crawls his way out of the scene. Paranoid and anxious, Trip goes to the storage room to gather weapons for their safety. After getting out, he sees the old man looking for something. Anxious, the old man takes his gun and points it in the face of Trip, questioning him if he saw something strange in the area. Trip confides that he saw a bloody man in the garbage area. The man puts his gun down and says that more and more people are dying. The old man confides that he has been seeing people dying in the area. He theorizes that whoever is killing people has got his wife in danger. The old man goes to his truck. While covering his windows, he loses control of his foot and slowly passes away as he's having trouble breathing. Trip receives a phone call. All he hears in the conversation is a loud scream and information that there has been an accident. After the short call, Trip sees the drug dealer right in front of him. He then runs away. Trip again tries to look for a reception. To increase his chance of getting it, he decides to climb to the top of the building. Trip knows that the dealer has been following him to the roof as he tightens the hold on his weapon. After surveying the roof, he receives a phone call from an unknown number. As soon as he answers it, Trip is attacked by a hooded figure behind his back. The blonde girl goes out of the room to take another stinky leak. Outside, she walks into an outhouse and decides to take a leak in the hole. Something in the air makes her cough. While doing it, she notices that one of her fingertips, her nose, and her other body parts are bleeding for no logical reason. While confused, the blonde girl yells her pee out when she feels something from the hole aggressively pull her in her private. She tries to escape but is unable to do so when an unknown flesh-cutting machine attacks her from below, ending her stinky life. Worried, Nelson goes outside to look for the blonde girl. He takes a look in the outhouse, but he does not find her. Nelson then surveys the whole area to look for his friend. Trying to use the cell phone, Mr. Blind smells a dead deer in the office. To make sure, he touches it and smells the blood. Nelson goes back to his room. While seated, he starts coughing, and something under the bed pulls him. The same flesh-cutting machine that attacked the smelly blonde girl goes for Nelson next. Panicking, Nelson tiptoes on the bed to avoid being killed. To escape, he jumps to the window to get outside. Hearing about the noise, Gretchen and Mr. Blind are alerted. Nelson successfully escapes, but the shard of glass in his neck is fatal, eventually making him fall to the ground and die. The two quickly then rush to Nelson, only to find him lifeless. Worried, they start looking for the group. They go to the truck to look for the old man and seek help. However, as they open the door, they see another dead body. Gretchen takes the old man's gun and leaves the truck to look for Trip and the blonde girl. She surveys the area and looks inside all the rooms, finding nothing. In the truck, Mr. Blind tries to use the radio to look for help. Gretchen is curious about the bloody book that they found earlier, so she looks into it. The book gets her attention when she reads the phrase, this is not real. Finally, Mr. Blind gets reception on the radio. He asks the person behind the radio, what do you want? But he is immediately creeped out when the person replies with the word, you. The person behind the radio threatens to kill Mr. Blind. Scared, he runs out of the truck to look for Gretchen. As Gretchen goes through the book, she feels something behind her. She stands up and looks for anything, but she does not find a trace of any person. On the other hand, Mr. Blind is stuck outside. He starts feeling unwell and yells loudly for help. With no luck, Mr. Blind starts suffocating and having a hard time breathing. Not long, the hooded figure starts attacking Mr. Blind. Luckily, Trip, who appears to have lost his one arm, comes into the scene and shoots the figure. The figure fades away, and Mr. Blind is now safe. Trip yells loudly and signals a retreat to his friends. In the storage room, Trip describes the smell of death that they had been smelling. This reveals why the dead people have been suffocating before being killed. 
Obviously, the unknown enemy uses an airborne weapon to weaken the people's bodies. As Trip is telling the whole story, he starts feeling dizzy and falls to the ground. However, he refuses to lie down and wants to give a fight. Soon after, the mysterious figure comes again and starts attacking Gretchen. Trip comes into the scene and orders his friends to escape. He tries to fight the figure, but he's simply overpowered. The figure attacks Trip in his stomach using his weapon, making him die. This reveals that the flesh-cutting machine that killed the blonde girl and their other friend is actually the figure's weapon. Gretchen and Mr. Blind run for their life. After a while, they decide to go to the truck and escape the area. However, the truck refuses to start. Gretchen goes out to find gas, and the figure appears again. Gretchen takes her gun and shoots the figure, making it disappear for a little while. The figure comes again, and Gretchen starts shooting. The figure keeps coming out every minute. While talking, Gretchen realizes that Mr. Blind has disappeared from nowhere. She realizes that Mr. Blind has fallen from the top of the truck. Mr. Blind climbs the truck again, but as soon as he gets on the roof, the figure drills his skull from behind, making him fall down. Mr. Blind takes the mast of the figure and strangely sees a gory face behind the cover. Gretchen takes her gun and tries to shoot the figure. However, she is out of bullets. To escape, Gretchen continues to find gas, and out of nowhere, she sees the drug dealer. After she defends herself, the dealer disappears. Gretchen runs and tries to fill the car with gas. Suddenly, the figure comes behind her. As a reaction, Gretchen stabs the figure with a shovel. While Gretchen has a hard time starting the engine, the figure is drilling the roof of the car. Luckily, the engine starts, making the figure fall to the ground. The figure quickly rises, and Gretchen decides to run over and collide the figure with the truck with as much force as she can. After the crash, the figure disappears. Gretchen and her remaining friend escape as they drive away from the gasoline station. In the morning, the figure attacks their car again. Because of the pressure, their car crashes on the side of the road. In the next scene, Gretchen wakes up and sees the drug dealer helping her. It's later revealed that the words written in the book are true. Everything they experienced in the gasoline station was not real. In reality, after Tripp stepped out to call for a ride, a truck collided with Gretchen's car just as the earthquake occurred. The truck, driven by the old man, had gone unnoticed by the rest of the group. The old man's wife tells the authorities that her husband had a heart attack and lost control of the truck. Each of the killings at the motel was mirrored by their deaths in the car crash, possibly caused by their near-death experience. The blonde girl died of internal bleeding. Nelson was thrown through the window and slit his throat. Tripp's arm was severed while outside the car, and he died of blunt force trauma. Gretchen survived the crash because she wore her seat belt, while Mr. Blind survived the crash despite suffering a severe head injury and a broken arm. The drug dealer, who had been following Tripp, saw the collision and tried to help, which explains his appearances at the motel and on the highway. In the last scene, Gretchen and Mr. Blind discuss that neither of them remembers the accident and no mention of the events in the motel circulated in the news. Mr. Blind mentions that he thought he saw Gretchen for a brief minute during the collision, casually mentioning the color of her eyes. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.